Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's de December 26th, the day after Christmas and 26 days into 31 days of Kenya. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit different, not so book related, although I, but what we're gonna do is look at my pop collection. <laughs> So why, as a booktuber, am I talking about my pops? Because it's been 31 days and I'm running out of content. <laughs> but also because most of my pops are related to stories I've read or watched or whatever. And um, I'm going to show some of the ones that are here, some of which I haven't even taken out of the bag yet. Um, and then kind of walk around the house and show you the ones that are around. But I actually recorded those bits yesterday, so sorry for any redundancies. I wanna see what I've got. And you're here and I'm here and I'm gonna record it. And if you don't like it, you can hit subscribe and like anyway, and then forward to the next video. <laughs> okay, so my favorite one, which I already held up, is my Maleficent Dragon. So I got this one from a Disney box that came. Disney used to have a monthly subscription box. I don't think they have it anymore, but I got this one and then I've gotten several other ones that I really liked that were exclusive supposedly from those boxes. And I have a dragon collection, which you'll see. And once I take this one out of the box, there's no reason that they're in the box. Um, once I take this one out of the box, I will probably put her with, the other dragons but I could also put her with the other villains and the other Maleficent do you see my problem <laughs> Maleficent is probably one of my favorite villains Ursula is also one of my favorite villains of course because she's a singer but I typically buy lots of Maleficent and Ursula merchandise Okay, so this other one is Mabel Pines from Gravity Falls. You'll see in one of the other clips that I have both Grunkle Stan and um, Waddles the Pig and Dipper. Oh, no, here's Waddles. Here. Love him. Oh, this is one of my favorite big ones. It's so heavy. I'm not sure why it's so heavy, but this is Aladdin fighting Jafar as he's a snake. Jafar as the serpent and I think this one came it definitely came from Hot Topic but there have been a couple of times when Hot Topic has a box that has more than one thing it's got a pop and a little pop and a pop pin and several things like that and I think this one might have come from that I also have a Peter Peter Pan one that has hook you'll see in one of the clips that I think came from a box like that too this one definitely came from something. I never buy Dorbs. So this was from a Disney exclusive box um, because Dorbs isn't my bag. But I do like this. And I, I don't know if it was a part, like if they had different parts of the Small World ride. But this one has Mexico and Holland on it. Super cute. And then in those other boxes... There were also these different style things in the can. I not, you probably can't hear me if this is Robin. Can you hear me now? Um, and I really liked the tins most of all, but they came with these little figurines and I have several of those. Oh, Jimmy Cricket, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna put these back in here because I will definitely get confused about which can they came out of, even though you would think I would be able to figure it out because like the one with Belle has the Beauty and the Beast thing on the top. So this bag has a Supergirl rock candy vinyl. When did I get this? No idea. And then it has, I bought the collection when Hot Topic had them all because they were missing some for a while. So Lion Cat, I have in my video sometimes, 
but these are the characters from the the graphic novel actually it's a comic book from the comic book saga so that is Isabel, Alana, Marco who is the hottest goat man in the verse and Prince Robot the fourth whose box is getting all jacked up not that I care because I'm not going to keep them in the box probably who knows maybe I will that's all in this box and that purchase was made March 2018 so that's how long the saga characters have been in this bag and when I bought them I had to have them had to had to had to have them and really sometimes I like to support things that I really like by buying the merch because I want to show support for the thing, right? So uh, Saga isn't a book that had a lot of different things offered in mainstream kind of places. So Hot Topic being a mainstream kind of place, sometimes I think it's important just to kind of show some support and love to them. Oh, here's another one of those little things that came in a can. This is Woody, I think. Yep. At first I was thinking maybe it was somebody dressed as a little cowboy, but I can see that on the sides of the can are other things from the Toy Story movie. So that makes me think it's Woody. I have this double pop bob bobblers, bobblers. <laughs> so they're bobbleheads. Uh, oh, I should have used these for decoration for um, for Christmas because they are Rocket and Groot Christmas time bobbleheads. And then I believe the rest of this box is the full set of the Seven Dwarves. So when they came out, I bought them all because why would I try randomly to find them in the store? I wouldn't. So I bought the seven dwarves along with the witch holding the apple. And she's with the villain. So you'll see her with the villains. <laughs> Sneezy is so cute. I still really want, so there was a variant of Dopey who has um, Snow White's kiss on his head instead of the hat and if I ever see that anywhere I will definitely be trying to grab that because I really want that variant and then the last one you'll see while I'm sitting here I think is Cinderella's carriage. So this is another big guy, which I really like. And so some of these I would probably put up in my office or a couple of the offices that I use at work, but they're shared space. And not that we have a problem with people who run off with vinyl figures or anything, but I just want to kind of keep a better eye on them than putting them in a shared space. Because um, who's going to steal a bunch of pops? No one. But it's my stuff. <laughs> um, so I will link in the videos here of showing you kind of around where some of the pops are in the house, including my partner shelf of pops. You can't see him in the video, but he is hiding around the corner to make sure that I'm not messing with any of this stuff. <laughs> so these are the ones on top of the card catalog for right now. The Akami from Harry Potter or from Fantastic Beasts. And that has nothing to do with Pops. <laughs> and my Krampus. I actually have two of these because I really wanted one. And then I bought one. And at the same time, my partner bought me one and they crossed each other kind of and I ended up with two and then this is Lion Cat from the comic um, saga and then I'm still decorated for Hall uh, for Christmas because it was yesterday All right and then I have the three witches Mrs. Witch Mrs. Who Mrs. Witch and Mrs. What's It 
from A Wrinkle in Time. I have Hermione, so I have several Hermione's. This is the Hermione that's making the Polyjuice Potion. And I believe that the little cup of Polyjuice Potion, it's like a small cauldron and it is currently under the card catalog so, or under my TBR cart somewhere because it fell. And then this is the Nerdy Smurf, Brainy. And then on this other shelf in this room is the villains. So they used to be sitting on top of the card catalog, but I moved it for decorating for Christmas. So I've got Hades and Cruella and the Red Queen, Ursula, the little one and the big one, Maleficent and the witch. And I call her Elphaba now, but the Wicked Witch of the West. And she's not in, she hasn't been taken out of the box yet, but that's just because I haven't taken her out of the box, not because I'm trying to keep her pristine or mint or anything. It's just, I haven't, I just haven't taken her out of the box. I think that's all the ones in this room. Okay, and here on this bar is the dragons and apparently Miko. I don't know what he's doing there because he's clearly not a dragon. And you can see how dusty they are. <laughs> Um, but that green dragon's my favorite, but I like them all. And we're going in there next. So the figurines in here. So there's Cinderella's shoe with the little mouse. And a couple of busts from Strangers in Paradise. Um, these are kind of a mess because I've been pulling them for pictures. That's a piggy bank. Of Pua. Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's Death. There. Usually she is with the candles from Sandman, so I don't know where those are. These are not pops, but still prized possessions. Mm. There's one of the Wonder Womans. I'm pretty sure I have a couple of her. And a Dr. Maru. And a an Candy. And over here, Hagrid. And Quidditch Harry. And Dobby. Oh, here's one of the candles. It's broken, which I don't think I knew it was broken, but that happens in my house sometimes. Here's a second at a candy. Oh, there's a fan. Old picture. Basically looking for random pops around my house now. Oh, don't look at that pile of shoes. So there's one of the beast. That's one of my favorite beasts, or that is my favorite beast. And Dumbo. It's a Christmas tree. I told my mom I would show it in the next video. Sorry, Mom, we already opened all the stuff, but <laughs> this is the Christmas tree. Okay, so these are a little bit harder to see because this non-functional, really old, broken, needs to be out of my house treadmill is in the way. But here we have a few more Harry Potter related pops. McGonagall, Luna, Snape. And, well, the Bogart or Snape, silly me. Tinkerbell. And I have both of the Florkins. Um, Bambi. A Gremlin or a Mogwai. Darkwing Duck and Launchpad McQuack. I have Gra the Gravity Falls, um, Grunkle Stan and Dipper. I have Mabel too, but I think maybe she's upstairs. Did we see her already? Maybe. Um, Steve Irwin. That is not a pop. It is a souvenir from the Lion King tour. <laughs> uh, there's Ariel and Prince Eric. Gaston. Pluto the dog. And this is one of my favorite ones. It is Hook 
and the crocodile from Peter Pan. So I think that, oh, and then Wonder Woman keychain and a double keychain with Lady and the Tramp. So I think some of these came in boxes, like um, you order a monthly box or maybe, I think maybe Tinkerbell did because I don't think I would have just chosen Tinkerbell. And um, Hot Topic had a villains box and Hook and TikTok were in that one. Um, and then I think I had a mystery box from Disney where I got these. And then the other ones I got because I wanted them. And my favorite ones in this room, this is the one where she's grown and it's kind of scary. I have the little one where she's still in the can, but that's at work. And my gatekeeper, Zool, and the key master from Ghostbusters. Ooh, it's dusty up there. <laughs> Well, in this room, this is my bedroom, and it's a freaking mess. So, Lumiere, Belle, the other beast, <laughs> and then Chip. Mrs. Potts is around here somewhere, but I don't really know. And then there are a couple of the little keychains. I've lost a few keychains. So I sometimes don't even take them out of the box. And then on the headboard, Dipper, and three of the Teen Titans as other um, superheroes. So Starfire's Flash, Starfire's Batgirl, and Raven as Wonder Woman. And then a Beetlejuice set. Oh, I found an... I found another random pop Neville on top of my kids' bookshelf, which is even a bigger mess than mine. <laughs> but I think that's the only one in here. So this room is actually where my partner is most of the time. He colors and flats comic books. So this is his shelf of pops. So these, I think, are mostly three deep of mostly nerd stuff. This shelf is just ducks. <laughs> and that's my Howard the Duck right there. But I like to let him think that he gets to keep it. And I almost forgot my very newest pop. Just got her this week. Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> Pepita from the movie Coco. So that was a tour of my pops. Oh, except I didn't even, I don't know if I, maybe I did. Never mind. So that was a tour of my pops. Uh, what do you think of them? When Bobby and I first heard about them, we thought they were so dumb, such a waste of money. We judged people with disdain and mockery who were spending their money on these little vinyl figures. And since then, we have become casual collectors. And I tend to buy, and he does too, we tend to buy singles of things. You know, so if there's a favorite character from a series or a favorite um, movie moment or whatever from a movie, then we'll just buy it without feeling the need to buy an entire collection related to that movie or book or fandom or whatever. But then sometimes, as you saw, like with the Snow, with the Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, I just bought the whole set. I wanted all seven of the dwarves and the witch. So, how about you? If you buy pops, do you tend to buy them all at once? Do you tend to do the collector thing where you're looking for things? Do you trade? How does that work? I don't even know how that works. Um, so, 
Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for going on the pop tour. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, you know, do all of those youtube -y things. And hopefully I will be back tomorrow with a weekly wrap up. And I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.